everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I wanted to share with you some old bottles that I've been collecting for a while. Now, you know that I love to go to flea markets and we have a really great flea market here in Prescott and I've been collecting old bottles for a while. Sometimes I'm lucky and I will find a whole box of old bottles and I'll get them for a really good price. Now, when I get them home, they're pretty grungy, <laughs> pretty grungy and they're full of dirt. Um, and sometimes ink, just really a mess. But that's how I'm able to get them for such a great price. And what I do is I bring them home and I clean them up and I typically use them for staging or for decorating during Halloween. Now some of the bottles I decided I wanted to go ahead and add some labels to them. Um, and that is what you see on some of these bottles here. But some of the bottles were just perfect as they were. Some of the older bottles like this one here is an old uh, whiskey bottle and it's an old Quaker bottle and it has some great uh, embossed graphene on the bottle. And sometimes I get really lucky and I get some really great bottles just as they are. So I certainly don't want to add any labels or anything to these bottles because they're perfect as they are. But some of the bottles are a little bit plain. So I decided this year to try to add some of my own labels to them just to make them look a little bit more uh, like an apothecary uh, set. Now the, la the labels that I'm using are uh, remnant rubs. And these are the rub-ons kind of like I've used for the Tim Holtz. And I've had these, gosh, forever. I used to be on uh, the Seven Gypsies design team and this is where I got them from and I actually went to see if I could find any more of these because they worked really great but I wasn't able to find them doesn't mean I'm not going to stop uh, I'm going to stop looking because I'm going to definitely keep looking for labels like this because I think they are great to decorate my bottles but for now we're going to just have to use what I have I also had the idea for some of the smaller bottles to pull out some of my Tim Holtz remnant rubs because some of his Halloween rub-ons have great uh, apothecary images and I decided to add some of those to my smaller bottles. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how I did this. Now the first thing that I did of course is I washed them really well. I ran them through my dishwasher. I got a, uh, a bottle brush and I scrubbed it as much as I could. But some of them still had that, um, I don't know, that smoky look to them, which was fine. I don't mind them this way, um, but you maybe can um, clean them up a little bit more if you wanted to with a brush. Uh, but I think they were perfect as they were. So I just really wanted to get out some of that dirt that was in them um, and at least have a clean surface so I can add my labels. And then what I did is I just kind of sized up my bottles to figure out what label would work best on what bottle. And then I added it to the bottle, making sure I had a nice smooth surface. And then I used my remnant rub tool to add this label to my bottle. Now with these labels, you wanna make sure that they are completely adhered. So if you do have remnant rubs, just make sure when you are adding them to your bottle that you don't get a little bit um, ahead of yourself and pull off the label when it's not completely adhered to your bottle because that will really just take away the effect. So just take your time, go slow, make sure you're pushing down really hard with your tool or whatever you're using to get your image onto your bottle. And then once you're finished, as you can see, it just comes out perfectly. It just looks great. And this particular label gave me a little bit of trouble. I started to peel it off and it cracked, but I just kind of took my time. I laid it back down and I kept continuing to work the label uh, to match it up perfectly. And in the end, I was able to get it completely adhered to the bottle. Now you may not have this problem with um, actual uh, pharmaceutical labels. Um, you can find old labels all over the place. I have some in my shop as well. Uh, but these are the paper labels and those would just basically just uh, adhere perfectly to your bottle. But I really wanted to use these remnant rubs because um, I thought that they looked a little bit more authentic. I may still try to use some of my actual pharmacy labels, but for these particular bottles, I really love the look that I was getting using these rub-ons. And as you can see, the end result is, is pretty cool, especially when you have all the bottles uh, stacked together. It really looks like a nice apothecary shelf. All right, so let's go ahead and work with a smaller bottle. 
Now for the smaller bottles, I did have some labels that probably would work, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how I used my Tim, Tim Holtz Ruminant Rubs. I know a lot of us aren't gonna be able to find some of these labels that I'm using here, but I know you can definitely find the Tim Holtz Ruminant Rubs. So I wanted to show you that you can still use those to get the effect that I'm doing today. All right, so knowing that I was gonna be working with some smaller images, I found a smaller bottle and then I got my Revenant rubs and I cut around the images and the words that I wanted to use for my particular bottle. Now these Revenant rubs are from prior Halloween releases, but I think you could probably still find these. I know the ones that came out this year didn't have a lot of apothecary uh, images and words, but I'm sure you can find some of these older remnant rubs um, either on Amazon or some of the shops. And I'll see if I can find them for you as well and I'll link them below in the description box. And then once I had my images cut out, um, again, I'm using the same process. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take off the backing and put them directly onto my bottle. Now again, you wanna make sure that your bottle is nice and clean and it has a smooth surface because that's gonna help your remnant rub adhere uh, to the bottle. And then once I had the perfect placement for my image, again, I took my remnant rub tool and I just um, added those words right onto my bottle. Now the smaller words take a little bit of work. Um, the bigger labels that I used on the first bottle were a little bit easier to get off of the plastic, but these smaller words can be a little bit tough at times. So just take your time, um, push really hard with your tool, make sure that you get your images um, off and adhered to your bottle. So just be really careful. Again, these letters can be really small, um, but I think they just turn out great. So just take your time with it. And it did take me a minute to make sure that I had all of my uh, little tiny letters and words adhered to my bottle. Uh, but once uh, I was finished, I just love the result. Uh, it really looked perfect. <laughs> I just love how it came out. You can see through the letters, you can see through the bottle, and it just really is a cool result. All right, so that was the first part of the remnant rub that I added, but I definitely wanted to add that pestle and mortar to the bottle. And um, that was the additional image that I got from the Tim Holtz Remnant Rubs. So I had um, enough space um, right above it. I could have put it below it as well, but I decided to go ahead and put the image right above it. Um, and again, just using my Remnant Rub tool, I uh, rubbed it onto the bottle. Um, and it just came out awesome. I was really happy with it. So even with these little bottles, you can decorate them up. Um, and um, when you have several bottles, different sizes, you know, larger bottles, medium bottles, and even smaller bottles, it really makes a nice display. And that's it. I mean, it really isn't a difficult process. You just have to make sure you take your time, that you have the uh, nice appropriate themed uh, remnant rubs to add to your bottles and you can create some really wonderful uh, staging bottles or decorative bottles for your um, apothecary scenes for Halloween and through the year. I have my apothecary theme set up all year. I have some really old bottles and I have an old wood pestle and mortar that I have um, set up in my shop here and I just love looking at it because it's one of my favorite uh, pieces to display. All right, so I hope that I gave you some ideas on how to use some of your old vintage bottles. And if you are interested in any of the bottles um, that I've created here or some additional ones, be sure to check out the shop because I have these listed for you as well. And I'll make sure that I leave links in the description box. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.